So 2020 is just around the corner and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a calendar design like this in Photoshop. And without any further ado, let's jump right into the video. Hey everybody, Innocent here. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please hit on the subscribe button. If you're old here, thank you so much for coming back again. So here are the resources that I'll be using in this design. And of course, this design is not limited to the particular images that I use. You can just substitute them and you can use them for your own liking. Let's get into the video. First off, you are going to create a new document. It doesn't matter the size that you want to use. It just all depends on how you want it. So in this video, I'm going for A3 and then I have to reduce my resolution in order to keep the video going way faster. So I click OK when I'm done and then I have this paper size over here. Now, first off, you can start from the bottom of the design or better still, you can just start from the top. So with this video, I'm going to start from the bottom. So I'm going to select my rectangle over here and I'm going to draw a nice rectangle around here. Nice one there. So I'll push it up or down small like this. And then I'm going to make a duplicate by pressing Ctrl J. So when I'm done with the duplicate, I'm going to change the color beneath of it. And then I'm going to change it to the upwards color here. Like you go up slightly above the color picker. And then when I'm done, I'll select my move tool and I'll use the arrow keys to move this up a little bit. So just like that, you can decide to pick any other color, I mean a color that will complement this particular color. So that is why I came around here. Any I just want it, okay? Now next off, on top of these two, I'm going to right click and select my polygonal tool. And then I have these three sides over here. So basically, it's going to give me a triangle. So I'm going to draw a nice triangle over here. You have to just make sure that it's on the same line. So just like that. And then I'm going to press Ctrl T to transform it. I right click and go to flip vertical. So it just rotates over there like that. And then I'm going to double click on the layer thumbnail here. Change the color to white. So I'll go for my move tool and drag it over here. And then I'll press Ctrl T to transform or resize it. And then I can position it over here. So you just create that sort of cut over there for me. So if I zoom in here, you can see it clearly. So I'll press Ctrl T and open it up wide a little bit so that the gap can be some way or somehow big. So that is it. So next off, I'll go for my rounded rectangle over here. And then you have to make sure that your radius is around 200 pixels. You can go a little bit more. And then I'm going to draw the rounded rectangle here. So I'm going way like this. Something like that. Okay, so let's give it a color so that you don't get confused. So this is the color. And then I'm going to press Ctrl T to transform this out. This can be a little bit very confusing, so you just have to twerk it to the way you like it. So you transform it, and then when you bring the cursor around here, you see that it has changed for you. So you can just rotate it slightly like that. So it depends on how you really want this one. And then you can also transform it from the edges like this. Sounds cool, yeah. So you transform it to the size that you really want and then you can leave it there like that. So something like this is going to work for me. I don't know if I'm going to get the exact size like I have in my thumbnail, but I think this works out fine. So I leave it there and then I make a duplicate. So I'll press Ctrl J to make a duplicate and then I'm going to drag it here. I'll press Ctrl T and then I'm going to transform it or resize it anyhow you want to call it. And then I'll leave that one also here. Basically, what you have to notice is that the edges would have to be on the same line. From here, it has to be on the same line like that, and then you leave it here. And then finally, I make another duplicate, and then I'll drag and post it or leave it over here. So basically, we are having three different rounded rectangles over there. Sounds simple, right? 
Okay, so next off, you're going to implement the images. So I'll select the first one, that is this one. And then I'm going back to my resources. And then I'm going to input in my first picture or image. So once the image is here, I'll right click on it, rasterize it, and then I'll right click again and create a clipping mask. So it just fits into this particular rounded rectangle. So I'll press Ctrl T and then I'll transform it like this to make the image a little bit bigger. So there you go. And then I'll come to the second one. That is the second rounded rectangle. I'll go back to my image resources. And then I'm going to drag and drop this inside of that particular rounded rectangle. So I right click, rasterize, right click again and create a clipping mask. So I'll press Ctrl T again and then I'll transform this out to fit it right over here. It's simple. Now you do the same thing for the third one. So I'll bring the third image and so this doesn't really um, apply to only agriculture. I just decided to um, use agriculture for this one but if it is a school or a company a corporate body you can just take the same approach and then you are good to go so by selecting this one and holding shift and selecting the first rounded rectangle you can press ctrl g and then you group these ones so there we go now next of all, i want to add a background underneath of the grouped layers so i'll select the first polygon and then i'll go back to my resources and then I'm going to bring in this particular background. It is very small in resolution, so I'll try and open it up and then I'm going to leave it over here. So you double click on it and then you are good to go. Now next off, I'll right click and rasterize this, go to filter and go to blur and then I'm going to add a Gaussian blur to the background. So it's going to blur it out and then you click OK. So we are left with adding the main calendar. So I'll go back to the resources and bring in this particular calendar that I got from calendar360.com. You know, we can't take time to do all of these again. So somebody has made it already. You're just going to borrow the idea. So I'll double click on this one, click OK, and then I'll select or use my rectangular marker to make the selection right here. And then I'll press Ctrl J to duplicate it. I'll drag and post it inside of the one that we are working in. So I'll bring it over here and I'll press Ctrl T to transform it. So it has to be somewhere around this side. So there we go. So we press Ctrl T again and then you transform it a little bit smaller. So with my ruler, I'm going to make some alignments that I'm going to post the rest of the calendar over there so i'll go back to this one make sure that i undo everything and then i'll make the selection again for february right over here and then i'll press ctrl j and then i'm going to send it inside of this one again so i'll press ctrl t and then i'll transform it out so that is the purpose of the ruler that we set over there so it is going to guide us to nicely arrange these things or these calendars. So right over here and then I'll press Ctrl T again and open it up like that. So it has to be on the same line. You can take your time to do this. Okay. So doing it for the last one, we go here and then undo and then we're going to select this one that is for March right here. Press Ctrl J and you duplicate it and then you send it over to your document. So you press Ctrl T to transform it out like this and then you position it here. You just have to take your time to make this one, okay? And then you can drop it or you close it up from this side and you are good to go. So that is it. Those are the three things. So for each particular page you're going to have three different um, months over there so right from here i'll select the first one select the, the third one that is the layer one hold shift and then i'll select all of them press ctrl g and then i'm going to group them and that is going to be the calendar i'll press ctrl a and make sure that the align horizontal is selected 
so that it can be in the middle so i'll press ctrl d and then i'll deselect it now i want it to match the design that we are using the colors so i'll go for my layer one press ctrl u and then i'm going to add a hue and saturation to it so the hue will be around here we go for something green and then i'll go for the second one press ctrl u and then this one also is going to be something green but slightly different from this one and then you do the same thing for the third one which is going to be like this and then you click ok and you have your calendars all set next off you're going to add test to this so i'll go for my test tool and then i'm going to start to write here the font that i'm using is called poppins and i'm using the medium version or the medium size so i'll type 2020 here and then i'm going to press ctrl t to transform it out like this and then i right click and go to the blending options and i'm going to add the drop shadow to it so i'll increase the drop shadow a little bit like that now i'll press ctrl j to make a duplicate drag it down over here and then i'm going to change this one to calendar so it reads 2020 calendar and then i'm going to change the color also to the yellow over here so for all of you who don't know this is called coco if you come to ghana you're going to see coco if you don't know so i'm going to position it over here and make sure that the 2020 is also stretched up a little bit so that it can stand right on top of the calendar there we go like this finally what i'm going to do is i'm going to duplicate the calendar again drag it on top of the footer over here and then i'm going to right click and clear the layer style double click on it and then i'm going to change the color to white and then here is going to be something like if it this is for a corporate body or an institution it can be your address anything but for this one i'm going to add the holidays and all those sort of things to it so january 1 or 1st january it's going to be the new year's eve so i press ctrl t and then i'm going to transform this out and then if this is for something like family thing or you're doing this for your family you can include something like your birthdays and all those things on it so for instance you can add something like january 19th and then that is going to be like my birthday so if this is a personal thing you can just add all those dates your wife your children's birthday is on eight and then you are good to go so you can duplicate this test as well and then if this is also for corporate bodies you can add your numbers and your email addresses to it so that is my number and then you can add your email and all those things to it so basically the photo is for information and other things that you may deem relevant to this particular calendar so basically that's it anytime you want to change a particular um, picture or image just like i said in the beginning this can be used for corporate bodies you can replace these images with your firm's images and then you have a nice corporate design unlike a farming system one i just wanted to demonstrate with this farming and i loved these colors that's why i just used this one so you can just simply remove this particular image and you replace it with your image and then you are good to go also you can adjust the calendar settings here by pressing ctrl t and then you can have it something like this you can open it up to make it very big like that so yes that's it anything that you want to do to this one will be under your own creative level thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know about what you think about this particular design also don't forget to check out the previous 2018-2019 calendar designs and i'll be doing a couple of designs for 2020 calendars so be sure to come back and check it out thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe then i'll see you guys in the next one it's innocent here and bye